I can't fight this feeling. See, I'm so tired of pretending. Pretending things are normal when my path really ain't the straightest. And my choices aren't always the greatest. In fact, they'd be considered wayward. I'd be favored among sinners and strayed men. Amen. I'm just trying to press my eyelids and hands, bow my head, say amen, and be approved. Who knew life for me would be so cruel? Ain't nobody ever tell me about Christian persecution. They say you're battling with yourself or with any other man. Instead, it's with powers and spiritual principalities. I don't really understand. All I know is I'm struggling to do the right thing. Cause evil is always with me, persistently pushing me, testing me, trying me, tempting me. Each fall I get weaker, my temper gets thinner, resilience seems harder. I feel far from the Father, patience becomes complacent in a devastating state of hopelessness. I can't help but feel helpless, folks are selfish with their blessings cause I'm screaming out for a rope to save me, persuade me, help me cope. No joke. This struggle thing is sucking so much from within me, my legs, my steps. When I breathe, it's my breath. Everything gets weak, it seems. I get up just to fall again. I stand just to stumble more. Cyclical sinning has my life spinning like a revolving door. Painful chapters pack my life's folklore. But fictitious, you know, fictitious fake fairy tale smiles. It keeps the truth concealed inside. Meanwhile, the fight within continues. Tangled nerves and twisted sinews. Fighting for freedom from sin's captivity. It's funny. When I want to do right, evil is right there with me. Why is following Christ so costly? I mean, I came as I was. I wasn't ready for all this change. Trying to spend time with whom I'm supposed to. I bankrupted on friends I was close to. I broke habits and, and compounded my interest to learn more of him. But now I got more lonely days than I was banking for. This is expensive. To be set apart from the bulk and individually wrapped in Christ, this life. I said it's expensive walking in repentance. So don't talk to me about convictions. If you can't define the difference to a life converted, this hurts. If I'm hurting, can you encourage me if I fall? Even if it's seven times. Can you get the log out of your own eye before you even reach for the speck in mine? I'm talking for real. Will you do more than whisper, welcome to the church? And then you watch me wallow in my sores. I need more love. Judge less. Willing is my spirit, but weak is my flesh. My flesh, it grows like cells divided. Occupying spaces, it has no business. It's like cancer to the body. Flesh, cancer to the body. Can you show me how fasting is a chemo to a spiritual affliction? Be honest, do you know? Cause if I'm a babe in Christ, then how can you train up a child in the way that he should go? Yo, this poem wasn't written with intentions to offend. It's just to challenge your balance of practical advice with spiritual influence. Do they walk in congruence? Keep your pride. Give me proverbs. Give me prudence. Give me patience when you break it down. Can you be gentle? Can you milk me the word? Because for now, my taste buds are simple and I haven't yet acquired the desire of a lamb. I just want to know him who says I am. I am telling you, sin lies in wait at my door. Death, jail, divorce is surprising my family by storm. Can you strip from your fancy church clothes and give me the explicit gospel some more? I need truth, not like brood viper Pharisees whose lives are like fish drenched in sauces of hypocrisy. I don't want to be a person who knows how to jump real high during praise and worship but can't walk real straight when things are far from perfect. The purpose of this poem 
is to ask you to do the same. Can you give a helping hand and give glory to his name at the same time? I'm talking for real, without hypocrisy, without the games. I'm not asking for you to play with me. I'm asking for you to pray, to pray for me. Amen.